Today we're finishing up a couple week long process of making some cornhole uh, games and today I wanted to show you how to apply the vinyl to the top. What we're going to need is a roller, a squeegee, a exacto knife with a sharp blade or a razor blade and a tack cloth. So to get started, we want to make sure that our graphic is free of all kinds of dust. So we're using our tack rag to go over that. And we don't want any dust particles floating around and getting on our work. And we'll go over our board. This board has been finished with two coats of urethane, which is exterior grade, and it's been sanded to 150 grit. It's important to seal the top of your board after it has been well sanded. Right now we want to line up the edges of our graphic make sure we have full coverage before we trim anything at the end and so once we have that lined up put some painters tape on to hold that down Double check our registration. All right, that's pretty good. Now, what we want to do is peel the backer paper off just a few inches. Go back about foot. Try not to crinkle your vinyl. If you do, it's probably not a big deal. You should be able to work out any kind of bubbles or wrinkles as we go along. So I like to do this with finger pressure to start off with. Start out in the middle, work your way out to the sides. Nice, even pressure. If you feel any kind of bubbles, kind of work them out. And we can take our squeegee and just get that first six inches or so nicely adhered. Now we can go ahead and take our tape off. Pick up our graphic and we're going to pull another eight inches or so and just start working that down and work to the outside edges
to give you a close-up and show you some of these bubbles and how we're going to work on those. All right, so you can see our bubble here. If you have any kind of graphic that's got lines, uh, that makes it kind of easy to do a little slot or a little slit. What you want to do is work the air out of that bubble toward your little slit. And nobody will even see it. So go over your entire board, uh, look at it from low light angles, and if you find out that you have more bubbles, go ahead and work on them. So after we're done checking our bubbles, we're just going to roll it if you have a roller. Roll the corners. We're going to go and trim those next. Just apply nice even pressure. Again, we're rolling it toward the outside. Just in case this would stretch a little bit. We want the stretching to go to the outside. to do is trim our hole. What I like to do is get the majority of this just cut away. And I can go in here with my razor blade. edge which has been going over with a round over bit to look at our edges. And these are a little trickier. Just kind of laying your blade at a uh, 40 degree angle or so, running along the top of the radius. And in order to protect our surface from scratching and uh, the elements, you know, you never know if you're going to be around moisture, get some Minwax polyacrylic water-based finish. It's a clear finish, so dry clear. You cannot apply that with a roller. That will leave bubbles. So you'll want to brush this on. You can give it one coat. Uh, so long as you don't plan to have these out in the rain, it's a good protective surface. So this is uh, the polycrylic. You can see it's kind of a milky color. Just stir that up. And then liberally apply that with your brush. Work that to the outside edges. Nice to have a light at a low angle as well, just so you make sure you hit all of the areas.
All right, that looks pretty good. Tomorrow we'll probably finish it up. We have a scoreboard to add, and I'll show you the rest of the construction. So I wanted to just take a minute to show you the two game boards that I've recently made. They are standard size, two by four feet, standing 12 inches off the ground. What I did is put bottom boards on these for use in sand areas so you don't sink down. And I have a graphics program called CorelDRAW. And I drew up the scorekeeping thing, put that on paper, glued it onto a piece of metal. And on the underside, included some directions for cornhole and made this little storage area for your bean bags <clears throat> and a place to keep your magnetized scorekeeping pins. So I hope you enjoyed the little video. You know, I didn't want to spend a lot of time showing how these things are put together. You can see that on all kinds of other videos. So if you've enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks for tuning in.